So these staves have shrunk and a lot of gaps started forming. Look in here, you can actually see the daylight coming in through that stave. See, I didn't finish any of the door. I still need to like put some sort of trim around it or something. And the staves up here, you could see that how much the the gaps between the staves have widened, so it leaks a ton of heat, but it stays hot enough in here to sweat a ton. Just see how wide the gaps are between all of these staves. With the rain, it really doesn't leak very much. There has been a little bit of water come in, but not a ton. How long has it been since we built the sauna? Labor Day. It was Labor Day that we used it for the first time? Yeah. Okay, how many days is that? How many days since Labor Day? Maybe I'll edit it in. It's been this many days since we built the sauna, and we used it pretty much every day, right? Yeah. I plan on lining the inside of this thing with the double reflective insulation and then lining the inside with cedar. Even without that, it's dry enough in here. It doesn't leak very much when it rains and it's and it gets really hot. And then we go and jump in the cold plunge afterwards. But you know that that's what a lot of you guys were interested in is the fact that it's made out of pine. How's it holding up? And it's holding up way better than I thought it would. I wasn't really expecting to have it for years and years and years. I just thought it would be a fun project to do, to try building, and it was. It's holding up better than I thought. Obviously there's shrinkage and gaps are forming, but I intend to line the inside of this thing with cedar anyway. But for a sauna that cost me about 1200, 1300 bucks, I think that's excellent. Under the bench I put LED lights, and there's just a switch outside. Super janky, but it works. Yeah, the only thing that's not pine in here are the benches. These are made with cedar on the top. I know a lot of people have been asking for dimensions, so I'll post the dimensions in the description. Just to show how much they've shrunk. Actually, these staves like are oh, not yeah. tight anymore. What else do you want? Wow, you look great. Me. Good. Oh, yeah, it's looking like a spaceship. Or we can grow weed in here. So I don't know if it's obvious uh, or not, but I have zero idea what I'm doing. Stick with the line. I bet you the perspective is so screwed up on this, you probably can't figure out what I'm doing. Never actually recorded any of that. Dude, the video stops by itself. What the heck is going on here? Never recorded it, but this is what I did here. I cut around the flashing or whatever you want to call it that I have on the ceiling.
Well, I bought two rolls for this, but only one was needed. It covered all of it. Really? Yeah. So there's our spaceship, Wait, so our portal to a different dimension. Whatever, overlapping, no big deal. Well, that should do it. Now we gotta start putting all the cedar in. So here's all the cedar that I found on the discount rack at Home Depot. It's all in really bad shape. I'm not gonna lie to you. But it should do what I want, which is pretty much just to cover up that insulation. Of all days, today had to be the windiest. splinters in my shoulder. I'm gonna try to take these and one by one just start slapping them on I guess. So they're not gonna go all the way. Nothing in that scrap pile was seven foot six or whatever this is. So that's as far as they're gonna go. A. B. I'm not gonna go through the whole rigmarole of putting tongue and groove on these. I just don't care. We're going to send it. And we're gonna see how the staple gun does. I don't know, but that looks flipping good to me. I don't care what anyone says. I just wanna sweat. Man, now I'm thinking, do I actually care about the gaps? Okay, so I have decided that I am not going to worry about this gap right now. I'm going to leave it until a later day. Why? Because I am lazy and I want this to be in operating-ish condition by tonight. So I'm just gonna move on to this last section which is kind of random on this side. Very even on this side. I'm gonna start with the hard part first. I'm going to move a board across until it butts up against the wall. Mark my line here and cut. Then I will come back, staple, and repeat. All right, I skipped out on a bunch of the video, but it's finished. And I'm not gonna lie to you, she is not pretty. I mean, we got one missing on top, and then this is all patched together. But it works. I figured on a square rectangle around the chimney flue, whatever you call it, pipe, chimney. But it's insulated now, and it smells super good. So even though we're missing one on top, we're gonna fire it up and see how the difference is. Sweet.